Hey gang, I have a little video here about fixing dead on arrival lithium batteries that may come with your new power drill and it's not brand specific. I just happen to have these two. We just bought a brand new heart drill and I had my good old Black & Decker. The reason I'm making this is my Black & Decker was dead. I've had that for over 15 years. I pulled it out to do some work yesterday and that battery would not charge. As you can see it blinking now. Yesterday, it was just a fast red blink. Nothing, nothing. I couldn't get it to charge at all. The new heart battery was giving me constant red, 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 fresh out of the box. Battery dead, dead, dead. Wouldn't spin the drill. And I came across a real instant, interesting little easy fix for this. Um, it's worth a try if you have the stuff laying around your house. It worked for both batteries, um, both the new one and the old one. Apparently when these batteries are shipped and then there's the charge just drops a little too far They're probably sitting on a container ship out during the pandemic and finally arrived at Walmart um, The battery is too low to even pick up on a charge from the charger that comes with it So what you can do now mind you it is fully charged now, which is awesome On the battery You'll see the contacts I'm hoping you can see this too, okay? There's a positive and a negative, and you'll have to look closely on your own. But all I did was jumped it with a 9-volt battery. <clears throat> and you can look on the internet, and you'll see other people putting together videos for this too. Getting real fancy with all kinds of things. Um, all I did was I took plain old terminal connection like this. Added some pretty light gauge solid core wire to it. Negative and a positive. I happen to have some alligator clips and I also use them just to clamp to the ends just to give a little extra distance between my hand and the battery when I do do this. And on the battery itself, you'll see there's two slots. There's a positive and a negative. Make sure again you're looking at the where, where it states it on there. And you can just take whatever you happen to have flat in between the contacts within these slots. Negative and positive again, and keep the same poles all the way through. And then ultimately, positive, negative on your 9 volt. Run that all the way through, plug it to the battery for maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds max. Unplugged it all, plug the battery back in to the charger, and it started charging. Just great. Did the same thing with the dead black and decker, and you can see it blinking now too. So, just a quick, easy fix. Same thing, look at the positive and negative poles on the other side of the battery on that one and that's pretty much it I had all this stuff laying around the house nothing fancy on that fix you see a lot of people returning these um, and even heart shipping out new ones that are still DOA they are actually fine it's just it dropped below the threshold for this charger the charger can't get it going give it a little kiss with this 9 volt battery and you should be good to go I've been using that drill all morning this morning no problems at all so give it a whirl Good luck. Happy DIYing it.